Hi everybody, welcome to the Art of Comics channel. This is your host, Andre Salazar. Today we're gonna to talk about Quentin Tarantino's new film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. There you go. Super excited about uh, this film. I'm a big fan of Tarantino. Uh, Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction really, to me, changed the landscape of, of films when they first came out, inspired a lot of creators, a lot of new kind of storytelling techniques in film, and uh, I was a big fan of those. And I've, I've seen all of his films, um, and I enjoy them. Um, of course, not everything is uh, perfect, and they're not all masterpieces, but I really like them. Especially, I like the last films he's done, Hateful Eight, um, and Glorious Bastards, and uh, Did Django Unchained. Love those films. Uh, and this film, I'm gonna do first kind of a non-spoiler, then we'll go into kind of spoiler territory. Quick non-spoiler. I'm gonna echo what most of the critics and people have seen and have said. It's a good film. It's good. It is, you know, the love letter to Los Angeles, to the 60s, to filmmaking. Uh, these are the things that he loves and he's really sharing that with us. And uh, I'm excited to watch it and it was really fun to see those kind of things. So. Um, what I really liked about this film was that it really did break that mold of storytelling that is so kind of traditional. This is not the standard three-act structure, uh, you know, a save the cat, you know, a Blake Snyder type of story. Um, it, it, he, just like Pulp Fiction did, just like most of his films, he really is kind of changing um, how you narrate a story, how a story is told, and um, I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was, I thought that was really cool. I really dug um, some of the neat things that he was doing from kind of a storytelling perspective. Uh, visually, you know, it's great. You see a lot of great little like Easter eggs and and things that he's into. You know, there's a poster of Tora 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 and all these different films that were coming out at the time. Um, I really loved the idea of the uh, radio being constantly played. So music and commercials and TV was in every scene constantly. And I really like that because I think that does kind of, kind of um, reflect that period, you know. Um, I didn't live in the 60s, but I know in the 80s, that's the way it was, you know, uh, where you know, you're in the car, you hear the radio, you hear all the commercials, all that kind of stuff. And on TV. So I really like that a lot. It's definitely this love letter to filmmaking. Uh, you know, and, and of course there's westerns involved, which is a lot of fun. Um, some great cameos. Great storytelling. The ending. I really was unsure about what I was going to think of the ending. And then it happened. And I really loved it. I actually was, was loving the ending. So... Great film. If you like Tarantino films, I think you would enjoy this film. It is, it is him. His fingerprints are all over it. I think it's a very good film. Um, it's not for everybody. It is long. There are parts that if you don't have the endurance or the kind of the, if you can't just let this go and ride, you will uh, potentially get bored. There's some long moments. I like, I like that. I can savor that. But this is a two hours and 45 minutes. So, you know, you gotta be able to handle that. And so for some people who need that kind of more straight, linear narration, they would need that kind of like bang, 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 scene leads to scene, leads to scene. If you kind of need that or want that kind of momentum, this might not be for you. This is, you know, this is not that. This is a much more languidly told ride, you know. Um, which I really enjoy. So that's my quick, like, four-minute review. Let's jump into spoilers. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. Spoiler talk. Um, I knew it wasn't going to be, like, Man Manson-centric. I knew that it wasn't going to focus on the Manson murders, but I thought that would be the end. I assumed that Sharon was going to get killed in, in, like, in reality, and Although I knew there would be some twist because, you know, they killed Hitler and Inglourious Bastards. So I knew there'd be some change. Didn't know exactly what this was going to be. And I was really happy. It was fun. Um, I still didn't know what was going to happen. I, 
it, it wasn't until the end when they killed all the bad guys that I thought, okay, this is not even going to go anywhere near the history of what happened to Sharon. I loved it. I loved the ending. I thought it was fun. Um, the bad guys get it in the end. You know what I mean? This is a movie where the bad guys lose. And I like that. It, it's it's kind of noble in a way or, or kind of traditional in that respect. That the heroes win, the bad guys lose. You know, and lose pretty graphically. Um, Sharon is alive. You know, we don't see her murdered and sliced up. She's this kind of innocent, sweet part of the story. Her star is rising, you know, so we don't even go into any of the kind of negative things that happened to her. Um, it's his buddy film, you know, and I really, really enjoyed that. I thought it was great. Um, so go see this film. Uh, go see it once upon a time in Hollywood. If you love film, if you are a Tarantino fan, just to see the places in LA was great because I know a lot of those places. And so that was just really neat. The whole time I'm thinking, you know, they must be digitally doing some of the cars. I can't imagine that every shot they got, I mean, of course they're gonna get some vintage cars for a lot of it, but they had to do some CGI cars on some of those. I just couldn't imagine, especially the freeway stuff. Uh, on the, the 134 and the 101. Great film. Go see it if you're a fan. And uh, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. I go into more comic book stuff. And uh, feel free to comment and we'll chat about it, okay? Thanks. Bye. Oh, yeah.